Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here in Passage. Just getting absolutely pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. It's a little bit different today. It's a little bit more of a casual setup. Um, I'm still actually redesigning the studio here, so you can tell that things are a little bit busy behind me. Uh, but I've got the thing whole set up now, so I can actually be able to record camera. I have mic, I have audio. We've been knocking that down in the broadcast here on the channel the last couple of days. It's just been a little bit weird, doing a couple of test things, doing something different. Looking forward to doing more interesting projects. But for now, what we're going to do. It's PlayStation Plus games for August 2018 because uh, this month there actually had some interesting titles between Asia and America and Europe and I thought I would actually talk about them a little bit. But first, we will look at the PlayStation Asia ones because they, are, they as always, are the better of the two. So let's take a quick look at what they've got ready for us. So Mafia 3, Siberia 5 and the Assassin's Creed Trilogy Collection. Now, Mafia 3 is the same between uh, Europe and America. It's actually going to be sharing the exact same game between the two of them uh, for, the, for their big main PS4 title. But Siberia 3 is a surprise for me. I used to love the Siberia series. It is a surreal world adventure, 3D, overly dramatized lunacy of a point-and-click adventure. And then we've got Assassin's Creed Chronicles, which is, I think there is, what, uh, Egypt, China, and Russia are the three of them. So those are three that are worthwhile checking out. Those are the, the PlayStation Plus for Asia. I'm trying to use the right hand for this because everything just switched around. PlayStation Plus for Asia is absolutely amazing this month because Siberia 3 and the Assassin's Creed Chronicle games are two very, very different types of gameplay and also very, very enjoyable games. Mafia 3 has had its problems, but obviously that one's the one across the entire platform and across all the network. There's a number of games still available as well for PS3 and PS Vita. I'm looking to try and find the list for those because I haven't actually seen them floating about yet. But whenever I do get an update for that, I might throw it as an addendum into the description below. Now, the only other game that actually hasn't been included in this, uh, the Asian actual network one, is the games for uh, PS Plus in Europe and America, which is Mafia 3 and Dead by Daylight. Now, Dead by Daylight is a asynchronous multiplayer game, and I don't really... Whenever they do put these games up onto PS Plus for the usage, um, it's not... I, I'm not disappointed by it, but it's just the fact that whenever they do put them on, you're kind of expecting a burst of multiplayer activity in that game for that period of time. And then you're going to lose it again because people either will get bored with the game or they'll just move on to the next multiplayer game. And this is the whole games as service problem that I have in general with the way a lot of games are done nowadays. Just the fact that, wow, great multiplayer game, but does anybody play it anymore? No, so you need at least four or five friends to actually enjoy the experience. Yay! Um, it's ironic enough that we've actually got games that are, uh, people want more multiplayer in, but then they end up actually just being just as enjoyable as a single player experience. This is not one of those, even though it is very, very good fun when you can get a couple of friends together. So I highly recommend you actually check out the games that are available for PS Plus for this month. It is, as always, a well, well worth your oil experience. You can spend your money in multiple ways. You can either Joe who used to go with the uh 50 was it 50 pound a month now is it oh god come on please just give me the logo playstation oh you can go with 50 quid a month or i just give up <laughs> just leave it with that there we go playstation plus free ps4 games lemon month august 2018 i will use that as the title logo while i continue to vamp on about what i think about the games um the fact that we actually end up having games where your multiplayer experience determines your enjoyment of it i'm i'm, I'm kind of burned on that i don't i don't have the time to organize a group for play it's a very very different gaming experience to actually have that always persistent gameplay on and always having a group to play with i can't get into the mmo anymore because i don't have the time for it i can't get into even like a small sessions one because i can't get five people who have that game to join in together that i know because it's usually like one or two people have it and then the rest have to go and buy it and you're organizing time in between and then just join into random games is my, because I have such a, has, a long experience of playing them back in the day, communication is always going to be key, and it's not really that fun. Man. A lot of people are assholes. Just generally, like, I, I, I don't want to play five games of assholes to find that one game of some interesting people which going like, oh, wow, I'm going to need to add you the next time I decide to play this game in nine months' time. You know? Uh, well, single player experiences, great to actually drop into us. With Mafia 3 there, it's, we, there were plenty of issues and bugs with that game whenever it came out. Um, it's, it, it's interesting it's a world it's uh, gta 1967 with a uh, with a, a very, very involved racial slant on the actual experience of the main character and the people around him i recommend it to anyone if you have ps plus jump on and download mafia 3 
and give it a good solid try like don't just don't get put off by the the first start of the game let yourself get into the world and enjoy it while with uh dead by daylight play it a couple of times and enjoy if you can get a group of people together because you have ps plus and you can encourage your friends on ps plus maybe five of you will have the game now and that's good news also check out some of the dead by daylight dlc packs for multiple kind of like killer characters you might find one that you really enjoy and get into the game because of it. It's essentially what we wanted to evolve to always be in the reverse manner rather than us hunting the monster, the monster hunts you. And Friday the 13th proved that a lot of people really wanted to play that. With the case of Siberia 3 and with Assassin's Creed Chronicles, these are both single player experiences that are well worth checking out. Siberia 3, I never ever got around to playing even though I loved them, the original first two games like from well back in the day. There, In fact, I think they were literally maybe the first two games i bought on my steam library because i thought holy crap these are like three quid mine and i end up never getting around to playing through them again so maybe this actually be something that we want to cover here in the channel if you want to see siberia one two and three we might as well replay those you never know it's been a long time since i've actually loaded up the first one so i can't even remember what it looks like but the third one is looking quite pretty so thank you very much for watching guys if you enjoyed watching this make sure to share it around tell other people check out the games that have actually been mentioned but in the video today and also uh, remember to try out and get the cheapest experience you can on PS Plus. The uh, PlayStation Asia, $26 for an entire year's membership. Also coming with three months of membership to Netflix at the moment if you rush in and get it now before the, um, I think it's the 5th or 10th of August. I think it actually runs out where they actually aren't giving you that deal anymore. So you can actually get yourself a viewing, movie, TV, and the cinematic experiences, as well as getting your 12 months of PS Plus for very, very cheap. With, to be honest, and I've always said this, the better game selection. From month to month so thank you very much for watching and i will see all you dudes on the next big deal all right bye